Uh, here's the translation. Hello everyone, we continue with the Dynamax Boss Guide series. As for the normal type, I'm already quite strong, so I'll go through it quickly. For those who are still weak, try to level up one strong Pokémon since you'll need a damage-dealing Pokémon to finish off the later bosses. First, let's briefly talk about this team. I'm using this Pokemon because it has the Trick Room skill. Trick Room lasts for five turns and allows the slower Pokemon to attack first. Charizard also has a non-damaging skill, so you can make use of that. However, if you have a held item that helps you survive, you can use it so you don't have to switch in and out constantly like I do. Next, I use Voltorb with the purpose of lowering the opponent's special attack to increase my chances of survival. The skill I use is Eerie Impulse. I'll guide you on where to find these Pokemon at the end of the video. Next, I use knockoff as usual to remove the opponent's held item, specifically the berry that helps them recover HP. Now it's time for the main character to appear. Pukumuku uses the skill Pain Split, which halves the opponent's HP and restores its own. The principle is that it adds up the HP of both sides and then splits it evenly between them. The side with less HP will recover. Uh, I chose Pukumuku because its defense and special defense are very high, making it more likely to survive.
As for Abyss, it's pretty much the same, but I was a bit unlucky since it used a shield skill before I could knock off its item. I'll cover Abyss in more detail another time.